wouldn't ask for better conditions, setup, settings, time, temperatures. It's time to kill. Yeah. The early archery opener in Kentucky came and went, and while we had a great encounter, we came back home to Ohio empty-handed. Back in the Buckeye State, we had some final prep work to accomplish before the season started. All right, stand number two for the morning. We are uh, attempting to rehang for the second time this year the stand that Ethan broke because he's fat and broke the sticks climbing up. So uh, we're gonna make that happen real quick. And then we have a cell cam to hang. Gotta trim out another stand. And then this side of the woods will be done. What? Put the ratchet straps. I thought you had them opposite for a reason. I do, but now I gotta ratchet it against the scrapes here since about 2013 or 14. So 10 years ago. Before we could hit the woods this fall, we had to have a little fun first. The traditional deer shot party is held every year on the Friday before the opener, and this year's event was a major hit. Oh, has got the Iowa Booner. What's the, what's the joke you put? Oh, the, the unimpressive, unimpressive Booner. Booner. The unimpressive Booner. So that's a, uh, that's a Mark Zakis thing. Yeah, no problem eating. This is literally probably the, like, the lightest tasting deer meat you'll ever have. It tastes like beef. It tastes like beef. <laughs> I got a right to check though. Cash only. So I got it. I'm out. Nobody's safe. Actually, we were going down the hall. I had to do some work. Dog, what are we doing? We're hunting. It's deer season. It's opening day. It's opening day. This is all I'm taking with me and a release and a bow. Yeah, it's pretty much what I have. It's all we need. We're gonna whack a it's doe. It's 80 degrees and we're gonna kill a doe.
Not a bad first sit. Probably could have killed it though. If we were just a little bit more on our game, but it's early. Well, this is my first hunt of the season. So hopefully it goes well. It's October 1st. That season's been open about five days. So far, it's been pretty dead for us here on the farm. A little bit of excitement because Caleb is now going after his number one hit lister tonight. I'm kind of hunting on a different side of the farm. Could be a possibility of something showing up, but I want to get a nice observation sit. Maybe run into that four-year-old and see what we can do. But right now, it's a warm, muggy, wet day in October in Ohio. Wish us luck. All right, guys. It is October 1st, and we're hunting deer in a tree in Ohio. Uh, I usually don't get this aggressive early in the season. Uh, I'm doing a big timber sit tonight, but uh, moves had to be made because my number one shooter on this farm uh, was checking a scrape off my right shoulder here at 6.55 this morning. So we know he's bedding close. Uh, I've got some overnight videos of him in a food plot that's not far from here. We just got done with Hurricane Helene, so it's been a really, uh, really wet last four or five days, and it's finally starting to clear up. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping these bucks are going to be hitting scrapes all evening. I don't have plans on seeing very many deer. Um, I'd actually like it if it was probably just that deer that came out. Um, I don't want to blow too many out of here, have them get downwind to me, but this is usually a pretty good rut spot, and we're hunted early this year. set of the year and it's been slow so far it was kind of a muggy hot start to this hunt you might be able to hear that but there's acorns dropping like crazy on my way in here I bumped a doe but it's been quiet since then That was exactly what I didn't want to happen, but uh, it worked out. I was afraid if a group of does came in that they'd get downwind to me, uh, cause all kinds of ruckus, but uh, there was six or seven in that group, a couple fawns, a couple mature does, and they stayed perfectly upwind and just walked across. I got lucky there.
I was down from the blind and walking back because one of our, I don't know if he's a shooter, but the biggest buck we have on this farm came out and fed about 100 yards from me. He's actually a shooter for Ethan. I think Ethan's gonna go after him, so I didn't wanna spook him. I was able to get down pretty clean. Not sure if he smelled me or if he just fed to our other food plot, but got some video of him. I think he's a four year old, he's a nine or 10 point. So pretty productive hunt. All right, I'm gonna sneak out of here. The deer that we wanted to have show up this fall that we waited for all summer and only got one set of pictures of on July 31st, moved back in about a week and a half ago. I think the first video was actually the Friday night of our deer party overnight on a food plot and then ever since then he's just been hitting scrapes actually the scrape we want him to hit he's been hitting he's hit it twice in the mornings now in the last week it's only been four days season's been open four days he's hit that scrape twice in the morning so two out of four days he's hit that scrape in the morning so he's there somewhere doing exactly what we wanted him to do the problem is because we're so busy in life and all that other stuff is we have some stands and some situations in that area that aren't complete yet we got a stand that needs trimmed out uh probably a couple other mock scrapes we need to put in we need to find location for some other stands because we gained access around where this deer is living and we never got to finish what we started so we'll see if we even go in that area today i'm going to stew on it for a while if we do go in there it's going to be afternoon or around noon so that things settle and he gets to where he gets and he's not spooked in the morning we have plenty of other work we can do before that so uh, yeah, pretty much this is our last work day here on the farm, and then I have a work day planned with Nick on his farm on Sunday, and then it's mid-October, and deer get killed. Simple as that. Literally yep. as simple as that. We be killing. We be killing. Bluebird skies, right? Bluebird skies. That's what they say. Where's Nick's plow at? What's up, sir? Yeah, that's what they say. What's up, dog? Just left my baby with your fiance. Me. Go killage. We gonna kill some deer tonight? Look like you just woke up from a nap. Nah, nah. I've been up since about 5:30. Nap would feel good, but I don't get the luxury of naps anymore. Nope. Nope. But we can kill some deer. Yep. Let's do it.
you ever almost have a plan for to almost perfection, and then you fuck it up? <laughs> That's what I did. So Caleb and I hung a new set this fall because we noticed there's a rub line coming out of a thick spot. We're like, this is where someone's gonna kill a mature deer. About what, 5.30 I would say. I had brow a buck we call Browless sneak up behind me when I'm playing eye tag with the doe. So I'm trying not to let the doe bust me. He sneaks up to 30. I'm peeking at him, he's looking at the doe. So I'm peeking at him like this. He sees the doe bound off. He kind of does bound off, goes back to the thicket. Seven, 650 probably. I see a coon working through the thicket to my left, which is where I want to shoot. That's like the, that's the perfect spot you want to shoot at. See a coon working up. See him work through the thicket, go on the trail, head north, head south. Same noise, Browless comes back. And I don't notice the difference in the noise when they're passing each other. He comes up, probably about 12 yards, click the camera on, grab my bow, stand up, poof, spots me. Bounds off, didn't bust too terribly bad, but he definitely saw me and he walked off to his bed again. And it's October 8th. On the next episode of the Deer Camp Chronicles, the group has a wild night in the woods full of pre-run activity. Alex Argerakis is able to take his number one hit lister while hunting from the ground. A great start to our 2024 deer season.